What's going on, Show Nation? It's Movie with Movie Gaming TV. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. If you guys could drop a like or a thumbs up on this video if you guys liked it, I would really appreciate that as well. It would really help me out. Hit the subscription button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of our MLB The Show 20 content that's going to be on the channel. I hope you guys are having an absolutely great day, and thank you guys so much for watching my videos. What's going on, Show Nation? It's Movie with Movie Gaming TV. Today, we got some community news. I also want to talk to you guys about my new cap swing, how you can set it up. I want to talk to you guys about my hitting settings, and we're going to talk about patch 1.04. I haven't had the chance to play it yet. Um, I will be playing it today. I will be playing Ranked Seasons today. So I'm looking forward to doing that. But um, let's start off with my cap swing. So if you guys have seen my cap swing video, I was using Craig Biggio, but I gave you guys a couple other recommendations, Raul Mondesi, and I was also talking about uh, Chipper Jones 2008. Um, this swing has just been unbelievable for me i've been really really liking it. it's kind of a lot like the Corey seager swing from 2017 uh pitching rebel has been using this swing for i want to say like two years now it's the same animation as last year it just got like a really good loadout um i switch i have a little bit of customization to it my hand rotation is at 89 my hand waggle rotation is at 96 so he does have a little bit more rotation pre-pitch but i don't think that matters too much you wouldn't have to necessarily do that i just kind of did it for a little bit of style a little bit of swag he kind of moves the bat like that i think it kind of like looks kind of cool pre-pitch but he's been absolutely smashing the biggio swing is it's fine it's just fine it's just i didn't feel like i was getting enough power out of it maybe my timing wasn't as perfect as i thought it was or it could be possibly so i decided to go ahead and switch to this so if you want a really good swing uh, go for it as well my guy also is 6'3 167 with a buff build so if you want to make your cap exactly like mine uh, i've never run into another video movie in uh online play i'd like to uh i'd like to run into one sometime so i think that'd be uh really cool and again i'm working towards making a balanced shortstop i have the 85 power version right now but once I get the 89 unlocked, once I get enough hits for him, I will be unlocking. Let's see. Here are the missions, I think. So I got to get uh, more online innings and more online hits. What's that? Plus 50. Really, I don't. Really, I just need one of them. The extra stuff, you know, like the the Joe Random nameplate, this bat skin, a gear up pack. It's a silver better equipment item. Really, what I'm all about trying to get right now is this balance shortstop and i'm gonna boost him up with equipment he's been really fun to play on play on i know caps can be controversial i've always personally loved making one uh for whatever reason i just really really enjoy it i came over from road of the show when i started playing diamond dynasty and it will be 15 so i've always liked having the creative players part as part of my team now what i want to talk to you guys about is my hitting settings and my pitching settings that i have been using i have been using um let's see user settings go ahead and go over to gameplay options i have been using uh zone buttons obviously but i've been using the diamonds no inner no outer with yellow 100 percent and i have been using um and i have the fade out on outer but basically i have those three diamonds diamonds if you guys haven't seen the mickey mantle gameplay yet um, I put that up on the channel really, really, really late last night. I didn't stream last night because I really needed to like get back on kind of a normal schedule. Like the first week after the game comes out, it's like a crazy grind. It's like getting not a lot of sleep, just trying to do as much as I can to put out videos and stuff like that. So like last night, it would, I just like kind of felt like I had hit a wall and I was like, all right, it's time to like chill out you know take a little bit of time for my health and just relax we got a really really long season type of thing i'm all about on the ground i'm trying to get up to 30k subscribers so if you haven't subscribed right now or yet and you would like to subscribe and help me out with that i'd really appreciate it but um yeah it, we're gonna get into more of a normal schedule we've been starting the streams like 
geez, I don't know, man. We've been starting the streams at like midnight. That that needs a that's gonna get more into a normal phase of, you know. I always usually stream in the evening, so that's gonna get into a normal phase. It's gonna be more of a normal hour, you know, seven, eight, nine o'clock instead of, and we'll go probably till, you know, two a.m., three a.m. instead of starting at midnight or one o'clock in the morning and going till five or six like that. I, that's just not gonna be something I can personally keep up with forever if that makes sense we get, we're gonna get more on 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 base with that um so if you like to watch the stream but let me let me talk more about this so i like the diamonds none none yellow 100 percent. if you want rebel settings he's going with 70 percent like this i like 100 um i think like I, i've watched kyle and mcgunsky play i think they've been using the altitude um so i personally i don't know i haven't tried this so i can't really I tried it like for a half second before, but I've never really given it a given it a full go. If you guys like altitude, drop that down in the comment section. But I've been going with diamonds, and again, watch that Mickey Mantle video if you guys haven't already. Um, I would suggest you guys do that. I was uh, it was a it was a good gameplay. It was our first gameplay of the year. I'm going to do more recorded gameplays. I I don't want to just bring uh, a gameplay over from the stream every single time, but. I only have so many hours in a day, so sometimes we will be bringing gameplays over from the stream, and I'll do a live com on it. But I will like to, I would like to do, you know, gameplays where I'm just like it's actually just me recording a YouTube video gameplay. So be on the lookout for those as well. But if you're looking for good hitting settings, I recommend those. My pitching settings that I've been using, I have been pitching from strike zone. Uh, let me get to pitching, not batting and base running. I have been pitching from strike zone. And it's not the most aesthetically pleasing way to pitch. I really like pitching. It's so much more fun to pitch when I can actually see the catcher. But I have been throwing so many dots, it feels like, with the strike zone pitching. Um, I It's just like, I don't know if it's spotting the pitches. I don't know if it's because I focus on the meter so much when I'm pitching. I don't know what it is. I'll tell you this much. I have been using a lot of cards pitching wise that have a lot of control you can only do so much with your bullpen you can only do so much with your bullpen as far as you know how much control those guys are going to have but my starting pitchers they all do i don't know what mad max actually has his 87 control which isn't that bad uh glavin 92 control i love this card some people aren't as high on this card i found out like but I, I I like pitching with this card a lot. It's probably my favorite pitcher to use. Outside, I mean, you know, Maddox ninety three control. This is like an Oral Hershiser type of card. Sale I like ninety five control. Has a low H per nine, but ninety five control, great motion. I still have Kershaw in here. I really don't know why, other than I pitched with Kershaw for like four years and I've I've been using him. What other starting pitchers do I have? I want to look at some of these other guys that have control. Like per nines is what it's all about, but like. Control has been so important to me now. It's just, it's so much nicer. Just, I mean, the key to winning is really just hitting your spots and hitting dots. And, um, I'm looking for guys that can do that. I, I uh, think this Oral Hershizer, he doesn't have the highest control, but this is a really, really, really gold pitcher if you're looking for one. I haven't been able to go through and really taken a look. Oh, let's go into the community market real quick. Let's take a look at some of the starting pitchers. Let's look at some of these guys. We got Oswald. He's got 86 control. He's probably not too bad, to be honest with you. I mean, he doesn't have huge H per nine or K per nine, but nobody really does right now. Um, let's see. We looked at all those guys. Let's look at these prospect cards I've been hearing. Are these are like what a lot of comp players are using right now? 82 control, curveball, sink, change up, and a slider. That's a solid, solid layout. 89, 83. I think this guy's been popular with people. Nate Pearson, 96, 92. He has 75 control. He doesn't have a ton of control. I was watching Kyle use him yesterday on his stream. Kyle really liked him out of the stretch as well. I think uh, Pearson's been pretty possible or pretty. Um, uh, people have been using him a lot. We got this Michael Kopech, 88, 92. He doesn't have a ton of control either, but he does throw absolute gas. I think he throws like 102. Uh, Forrest Whitley, 81, 97 with a sinker, a change of a slider, 12, 6, and a cutter. Doesn't have a ton of control, but he's got 81, 97 with a really good pitch set. That looks like a pretty damn good pitcher. Who else really has control? Uh, 
I bet that Felix is pretty good, to be honest with you. Mitch Killers. I mean, at some point, you're going to have to factor in per nines and not just control. But just kind of uh, those top three guys I really have been liking a lot. We'll have to see how it goes. I mean, I just got to play more games. It's I haven't been able to get any games on Legend either. Why does that? And I'd like to... A couple other cards I'd really like to see out of the Team Affinities. And I'd really like to use that I've been hearing, uh, obviously, really good things about our Shohei. You know, he's doesn't have a ton of control, but he does throw from the stretch. Four-seam slider, splitter, and then he has all those hitting stats. I need to get this card. And a lot of people have been using this. Actually, that's our own team. We need to go to the Rays. Uh, a, lot of been, a lot of people have been using... Where the heck is Tampa? Uh, let's see, let's see. Tampa, 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 right here. Um, a lot of people have been using this card. This card is a really glitchy release. Let's see, he's got 52 control. Four seam curveball, change up in a slider. He's got a glitchy release. Probably a really, really good card to go out there for your starting pitchers. Um, I did see somebody in my comment section. I'm going to go find it um, after this, and I'll put it in the video. It was Andy Pollard. Andy Pollard was asking me if I could do a, a video on the best starting pitchers to buy. I'm starting to build, struggling to build a solid rotation. So I hope this video helps you out, Andy, and gives you a little bit of insight into what's going on with some of the starting pitchers. I want to look at one more thing, and then we're going to talk about patch 104. Also, the other pitching card you could obviously get right now is you could, if you guys have hit up to level 80. Yeah, if you guys haven't seen this video, it's kind of a longer video, but I put it out yesterday. I went through every single pack in the xp reward path and who to take out of the high diamonds and you could also get another starting pitcher in Corey kluber you could get him out of this pick guys i ended up selecting rolly fingers um i just think he's going to help my team the most he's going to be a really good player to add to have in my bullpen to use and so be sure to go check out that xp reward path video if you haven't already so let's talk about patch 1.04 okay says here, gameplay, fix an issue that caused button accuracy throw meter to get stuck in the red following a specific bullpen operation. I know a lot of you guys were asking on the Mickey Mantle video, are you using button accuracy? Are you not using button accuracy? I wasn't because it was glitched. Now it's, from what I'm hearing and seeing on my timeline today, it's absolutely fixed. Uh, an increase in hitting difficulty in Diamond Dynasty. So that is pretty much what everyone's talking about today. To clarify from the note above, between difficulty settings, the biggest result you get is more swing and misses on fouls and your worst swings. The swing feedback meaning doesn't really change perfect, perfect, squared up, good, okay, etc. Difficulty does not change the hit types and whatnot. What changes is how often you earn them. Fewer check swings will hit the ball into play. Pitch speed splatter has more range. When swinging early on an outside pitch, fly balls and line drives that would be labeled rolled over will now be labeled out in front. And... The gameplay patches out so when you guys play the game today you will see that now we're gonna head over to my page um we're gonna head over to my page and i was asking real selfie what he thought about the patch today because he was playing uh he was streaming this morning um so i was curious as to what he thought he said not a fan after day one had a handful of good square double plays with one 99 mano that ruined a br run I just don't understand talking about how rewarding the good PCI was for three months build up just to patch it after one weekend that was playing on all star. Um, so I, I think he felt like he wasn't getting as rewarded. I was talking about how I have seen some stuff where uh, people were talking about like wanting perfect, perfect uh, when you're pitching. And I think that would be really, really awesome. I just don't know if they'll be able to implement that until the next game. I did see as well though that Shelfie said he had a you know he had he might have just had like a lot of bad breaks. Um, it is what it is. He's gonna record some videos, so that can also happen too. You can just get unlucky. I mean, it's just a, a simple fact, and we're gonna break that down more here because there was an in-depth thing on Operation Sports today that Mills shared, and I haven't clicked on this to see if it goes right to it exactly, but there is a lot of information today on how. Um, I think this is it right here. This is from Brian at so SCA. I think this is an official dev, I believe, senior AI programmer at MLB The Show. Um, one of the difficulty change, the difference is one fourth the gap between veteran and all star, or one half the difference between veteran and all star dynamic. Another way of saying it is 
Every time you change difficulty in DD through matchmaking, blah, 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 you know, will be passed to change by four. This is kind of the part I felt that was uh, really interesting. Um, what this means is out of five of six, and you can always pause the video and, and watch this whole part of it. Watch this whole part of it. Read this whole part of it. What this means is that five out of six perfect perfects are going to end up hits on average. It's quite normal for one person to get ten hits in a row and another person to go two for five. Both people are playing the same game. To illustrate, I rolled random numbers one to six five times for each user. Imagine that's five equals an out on perfect perfect. One, four, blah, 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 blah. There's the numbers. User one went three for five. User five went two for five. Users two, three, four, and six all went perfect five for five. The same goes for getting home runs with perfect perfect. This is influenced by how you swing fly balls or ground balls and the batter's attribute. A pitcher is not going to hit a home run nearly as often, but otherwise the same idea applies. About 30% of perfect perfect are home runs, but you will get threes naturally. The last I checked, squared up was around 60 to 65 percent hits, depending on on type and attribute. Again, you are going to get streaks both ways. So that is kind of how it is. You know, you might get lucky, you might not. I'd like to share some other perspective as well on the patch. Um, I'm really interested to see, like, kind of like how the top players are going to go about. Um, you know, some stuff. I did see Quash talking today. Um, he said, I'm not the only one that doesn't notice a change in hitting. I'm still getting perfect, perfect swings. Maybe I have a handful of swings that I think should have had a better outcome. But other than that, if you're asking me, the only current issues are fielding and pitching. Um, so I think we might, you know, we're going to have to give it a little bit of time, see how things are. Whatever happens to the patch isn't necessarily, you know, things can always change. They can always update another patch and, and try to make things better. But um, we're going to have to get a lot of data on it. I want to see some of the top guys play. And then we got one more thing. Uh, I'm going to head over to Kyle's page. Um, that's really been, I know this is going to be a big uh, thing that people are talking about today. It says, dear F and God, we're F. Um how can a perfect, and this is from Mel's longtime guy in the community. He's been in the community for a long time. At least it will be 15, a long, long, long time. How can a perfect, perfect contact result in the ball leaving the bat at a slower speed that it came in, regardless of the hitter's attributes? This is something you really don't like to see. I hope this is an anomaly. Um, I really hope this is an anomaly and not something we're going to be seeing often. Uh, exit velocity of 87 miles per hour off the bat on a 97 mile an hour pitch. Um, that is not something that you want to see happening frequently. Um, if it happens once in a blue moon, I mean, but technically from a scientific perspective, I don't believe this should ever happen at all. But if it happens once in a blue moon, um, that's fine. But um, this is kind of where people are going to get upset for them changing the hitting settings at all, because this is the kind of thing you don't want to see. I know pitching can be really difficult. I told you guys that I was getting a lot of control pitchers so I can try to hit spots. You throw dots to win. You throw dots to win. You throw dots to win because you're staying out of the middle of the plate and people can't smash the ball. They hit one of your dots. Uh, it's really difficult to just be smashing dots all game. Um, so this is the kind of thing you just do not want to see. If this was not a pitcher that I was hitting. I'm not sure which player was hitting. Um it's just it's not something that you want to see i think a lot more people want to put their pc on the ball and smash the ball um personally if the game has more runs in it i have more fun when there's more runs in the game everyone's going to have their own opinion but personally i have a lot more fun scoring runs i think it's it's really nerve-wracking to play the game when it's two to zero and you never know who's going to win and that everyone's kind of squaring it up on both sides and then you know, it takes a couple Texas leaguers to win. I really, guys, when I play now, I'm just getting to the point in my life where I just don't really get... If I'm going to get upset about this game, it's probably going to be for about two minutes. Like, I, I really don't get that upset one way or the other. Um, obviously, I want to win, and I don't like to lose. I mean, that's just human nature, but I don't get too upset one way or the other. I just play, but it's a lot... Um, it's it's not it's a lot less fun when it's like a two to zero game and the only hits are on just like some texas league stuff and you gotta like really really 
scrap together like a small ball win. It's more fun when you're just hitting some more bombs and when the squared up gets when the squared up gets rewarded. So I hope that I hope that it just can go back to being a little bit more rewarded. But let me know down in the comment section below how you guys feel about all this stuff today. Um you know, we got to come together as a community type of thing. Give feedback, stay level-headed as much as you can. It's just always keep in mind it's a video game, man. <laughs> At the end of the day, it's a video game. I know it means a lot to a lot of us, but there's no reason to get really upset. It's just it's just a game, and uh, I know we all love to play. But the more we stay level-headed, um, the more that we will be able to uh, articulate what's going on. Oh, uh, one other thing too, guys. If you guys have noticed anything uh, wonky happening in the game, you know, you guys have noticed anything funny happening in the game if you go to this website right here the show.gg backslash bug you guys can sit in a bug report you guys can see i had pete alonzo right here and he went into the crowd to make a catch so that's something i need to send into the bug report to let them get some clipping detection over there so if you guys are seeing stuff like that you know home runs that are going through the wall just anything funny i mean we're in the very early stages of the game so anything like that just uh have a little laugh and then uh send it into the dev team so they can uh, work on it um i truly believe they care about this game a lot they're trying to make it better and they're trying to make it the best they can um and uh i guess that's going to be pretty much it for today's video i um, gonna try to stream tonight uh i'd like to record some more gameplay as well i'm trying to think uh what else there is i think that's pretty much it <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed i love making these videos i hope you guys enjoy watching them have a great night have a great day all right peace y'all